In this video on triumphs, we will be covering this Roman festival's significance throughout history. If you remember from the last video, I mentioned triumphs in passing. In this video, I will give it a more in-depth description and cover triumphs more thoroughly. But before we begin our history of triumphs, we must first examine what a triumph meant. A triumph was usually celebrated by a victorious general when they returned to Rome. There would be massive amounts of celebration. There would also often be enemy leaders and exotic animals on display. A triumph was also the only time a Roman was allowed to wear a fully purple toga. Usually it was considered too excessive to be worn as purple was the most expensive dye. The most wealthy of Romans would only wear purple striped togas outside of them celebrating a triumph. A victorious general's toga was called a toga picta. Now, on to when the first and last triumphs were celebrated. I went over this in the last video, but just in case you didn't remember, the first triumph was celebrated by Servius Tullius, although there is some debate as to whether the triumphs were celebrated earlier. The last triumph is usually considered to have been celebrated by Belisarus, who was an Eastern Roman or Byzantine commander under Justinian. However, it is also argued that the last true triumph was celebrated by Honorius, as some people believe that a triumph would have to be celebrated inside of Rome. Another important piece of information concerning triumphs is how they were awarded. During the Roman Republic, the Senate would have to choose whether a commander was worthy of a triumph. However, during the Roman Empire, the emperor could award a triumph to whomever they wanted, including themselves. Now that we have fully outlined what a triumph is, we can move on to why they were such a prestigious award and so desired by generals of the Republic and em emperors of the Empire alike. A triumph was very important to the general receiving it as it made the general or Empire concerned vastly more popular with the public. This led to them becoming a more important person within the Cursus Honorum, which was the Roman political ladder that the political figures tried to climb usually ending in a consulship if they were successful. In the case of an emperor, it was used to stabilise their rule and reduce the chance of their murder. This has been our video on the history of triumphs. There will be a new video tomorrow, probably covering the Cursus Honorum, so make sure to check for that. For now, Walete et Abe SPQR!